Winter's approaching and the bears are looking for a place to hibernate. They're gonna crawl into a log or a little hole in the ground about the size of a doghouse, curl up and sleep for the next three to four months. They're not gonna eat, they're not gonna drink, they're not gonna poop, they're not gonna urinate. Their heart rate is gonna slow down from eight beats a minute, they have a huge heart, to one beat per minute. Their respiration is gonna decrease 60% and they're gonna sleep. Now, how do they survive? You understand, if a human being did not take a drink for five days, if they were in a desert or any place, they would die within five days. This bear doesn't drink for a hundred days. It uses up its fat. It literally turns this fat into energy and slowly loses weight. A male bear loses 22% of its weight over these hundred days. A female bear will lose 40% of its weight by the time it crawls out in the spring ravenously hungry. And while it's using up its fat, it's turning it into cholesterol. Its cholesterol doubles, but it doesn't have a heart attack. And high cholesterol levels cause gallstones. It doesn't have gallstones because part of what its liver is making is a special kind of acid that dissolves away that cholesterol and gallstones. Scientists have actually discovered taking that same chemical can dissolve gallstones in humans. We've learned from those hibernating bears. And the other thing, the urea, if it can't be peed out, it builds up in the, the bloodstream of a human being. It would kill us to not urinate. And yet in a bear, it naturally has chemicals and processes that dissolve it away. So it survives this incredible hibernation. How could these changes, all of this metabolism change, all of these chemicals needed to dissolve the bile, all of the stuff needed to process the urine, its ability to survive without taking a drop of water, happen a small step change at a time. That's all evolution has to offer. It couldn't. It could never develop. That bear could never hibernate unless everything was in place. You see, because bears can hibernate, there has to be a hibernation maker. And that hibernation maker is not evolution. The hibernation maker is God. Thank you.